Dr. Queen, you can start. Now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So good afternoon, good morning, good evening, and good night if you are in the middle of the night and you want to sleep off while we are discussing on an important important topic today. We've started this journey of mindset for almost three to four months now. And we've been dealing with mindset for transformation. And under that mindset for transformation, we are also discussing on relationship. And to break it down today, I'm just going to encourage us on relationship but this time it's going to be on attitude of gratitude because it's very important that we step back sometimes and think about the good things, our good times, because we are human beings sometimes. We tend to want to look at always the negativity, always the disappointment, always the bad things, only to realize that as we are thinking about the bad ones, we also can think about the good things that we've enjoyed together as a family, as friends, even in a professional relationship. If you have missed one of it, I know I have discussed about different kinds of relationships. So everything we are discussing on this platform or this section reflects or relates with any relationship. Could be relationship with your spouse, relationship with your children or parents, relationship with your colleagues or your customers or your partners or your collaborators. Even relationship with your neighbors, we are still talking about the same thing. So today, we're just going to talk about the heart of gratitude. I will be sharing some of the slides, but at the same time, attitude of gratitude is always an heart to heart to heart talk. So today, I'm going to describe, I'm going to share with you some of the slides. And at the same time, I'm going to be talking from my heart to you. That is how we're going to work today. So let's check some things on my slides. Let's start from there first. But before I start, I would like to express my gratitude to the founder of International Intensive University, our able leader, my own boss, Sir Piyush Pandit. Thank you for this great institution that you have established for every one of us all over the world. For us to come and learn for us to come and learn new skills, for us to come and add to our knowledge, for us to also come and share what we know, for learners and the trainers and the speakers and the mentors and the teachers to come comfortably, relax and gain and add to their knowledge or grade their knowledge and also to perform well in the society and impact into other people's lives. So I want to say to you, sir, thank you so much. You have a great vision. You are a visionary of this IIU. And for the past two years, I personally, I've been learning, I've been learning, I've been getting better in every areas of my life. So I want every one of us that is listening to me today to appreciate our leader, our boss, the founder of IIU. 
Thank you, sir. I also want to express my gratitude to the one and only, my mentor, that is also the vice chancellor of IIU and the IIU African Continental Head in the name of Senior Professor Dr. General Charles Eboro. Thank you, sir, for personally giving me opportunity to learn under your mentorship and personally giving me the opportunity to work with you, especially in this organization, IIU. I also want to express my gratitude to Professor Nada from Croatia, my very own best friend, who is working tirelessly, especially being the president of Research Center of IIU, and also the co-founder of IIU. There is also another beautiful lady that I could have loved to mention her name, but she knows who I'm talking about. She is the trustee of IIU. Thank you, ma'am, for this great opportunity. I also want to seize this opportunity to appreciate all our administrators. First of all, let me give honor to Dr. Inga, our own very best Europe and also Georgia head of IIU. Well done for the great work you are doing with the teachers and the youth in Europe. I also want to raise my appreciation to Dr. Shanghai and also Dr. Emina. You are all doing a great job on this IIU platform. Thank you, wherever you are. I want to also want to say thank you, Lord, for the opportunity given to me to share my inspirational nugget of wisdom in every platform for every opportunity given to me. I appreciate you, God. Thank you for the grace, for the wisdom, for the ability that you have installed in my life to share to this world. I also want to thank you, Lord, for giving me a powerful message to the world, sharing with them that yes, they can achieve, yes, they can succeed, and yes, they can become. And no matter how high the mountain, no matter how terrible the situation, no matter how low the value, yes, everyone can make it and overcome. And yes, they can. So I want to use this opportunity to welcome all our own very friends that are on the platform listening to me today, this afternoon, and also willing to learn, to add to their knowledge, to renew their mindset, and be willing to transform their relationship. You are all welcome wherever you are coming and you are joining us today. It's a beautiful day here in United Kingdom. And I hope it's the same you say in your own country, sunny and brighter over here in UK. This is another day that the Lord has made. We will continue to rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you and God bless you. Okay, who is this lady in front of you? that is sharing our thoughts, our emotions, her feelings, 
Her name is Dr. Elizabeth Lucas, the founder and director of Yes You Can International. Is also the convener of Transformational Leadership Conference and also the founder of Elizabeth Creations. He is a, she is an award-winning author of the book called Yes, You Can. And on my slide, I believe you can see it. Yes, you can build a deeper relationship, earn more money, and be an happier you. Then another book called The Love We Lost, How to Reconnect and Rebuild Your Relationship. And many, many books on the way of so many books that has been written. You can get all my books from www.amazon.co.uk or amazon.com. We are here for an important topic. And the topic is the mindset for transformation in relationship. And today we are just going to talk about attitude of gratitude or heart of gratitude. Why is it so important? Let me just, first of all, go through this. The moment of truth. The only way to live happily, peacefully, and harmony with one another in this world is to everyone to admit it. We are whole human beings and we are different and we are not perfect. So if we are talking about the mindset, these are the statements, these are the informations that you need to know that we are all human beings. We are different and we are not perfect. It's okay to make mistakes. And we have the ability to choose our rights, to do our rights, to take action. We also have the ability to be free from one another. We have the ability to choose our tradition, our religion, the way to serve God, the way to do things in life, the way to do your business. We are also free to make a choice. But the most important thing is we need to learn how to respect one another. We all have the ability to choose and get a better understanding and that we bring peace within ourselves and that we make us to love ourselves and love others and unite together in respect of our differences, in respect of our culture, and in respect of our differences, I say. But permit me also to say something. Agape love. I won't be able to talk about love here today. But the most important love is the agape love, a selfless love. It is selfless, unconditional love. It is spiritual love, the boundless compassion love that is without desire and expectations, regarded of the flows and the shortcoming of others. This love can be classified as an intuition, divine truth, and love that accepts people that forgive others and believe for our greater good. Once you have this in your mindset, then we are ready to walk the journey together. But on our own journey, we have to have a heart of gratitude. Remember this. Everything in life you want to, everything you want to do in life and whatever you want to become in life, 
it requires hard work, dedication, commitment, sacrifice, investment, honesty, and integrity, and to crown it all, gratitude. And that is why it is very important that we talk about gratitude. Let me also show you something quickly. We all have a choice, I've said it before. And because we have a choice, sometimes we might walk differently. Sometimes we might act differently. Sometimes our attitude might be different. Our habit might be different, but we are all human beings and we have the right to do what we think it is best for every one of us. So we, are, we need to be ready to embrace our differences. We need to be ready to embrace our culture, our diversity. We need to be ready in respect of any other thing to love and build a healthy relationship. But sometimes we are not patient enough. We jump into conclusion. We assume, and sometimes we assume wrongly. We be misquoted and misguided and also misunderstood what life is all about, what love, relationship, marriage, family is all about. We thought we know, and that is why I want to appreciate IIU platform because they created this platform for us to come and unlearn what we've learned and learn new things. Because maybe what you know is not working for your relationship anymore. Maybe you need to come out of that comfort zone and learn more. Maybe you need to enlighten yourself more to want to know and for you to perform well, to be happy for your life. The complement of love are intimacy, passion, compassion, commitment, and caring. So if you say you love, check out how you passionately are dealing with others. If you say you love, Ask yourself, are you committed to it? In midst of storms and crises and adversity and challenges, even conditions beyond our control, love is paramount. And love will bring peace, harmony, unity. Love protects future and save lives. It also unites us together. The reason why we're talking about this on this platform now is because we are in the journey together. And if we want to develop the heart of gratitude, there are few things that we need to get a better understanding of. And that is why I've shared with you the moment of the truth. Love requires listening to one another, overcome together, value one another, and enjoy together. But then between me and you, you will understand that this thing is so easy to say, but it's not easy to implement so easy to hear it every time but it's not easy to really walk and take action and fulfill these things but i have come to you to let you know that all things are possible and yes you can achieve it only if you can follow the steps and the principles that can guide you to take the right action. We are still talking about the mindset for transformation. 
And we are still talking about relationship. And all that this relationship is what we are now thinking about gratitude. Let me ask you a question. I will be for them. Let me say this. There's no need to argue over something so insignificant because our passage down here has a very short duration. Life is too short. You can't afford to extend or to postpone your life, your happiness, your joy. So we, this is the time to make use of our time and energy and never to waste it. These principles we are learning today is very, very important to every human being. Art of gratitude. If you want to build your relationship with others, art of gratitude is very important. So let me ask you a question. Does someone break your heart? I want you to know that the journey is too short. Think otherwise. Does someone betray, bully, and cheat or humiliate you? Think otherwise. And the only way to think otherwise is to look at the, the other side of the coin. Let me also encourage you. Do you know that as I'm standing here in front of you, I have my strength. I have my weak points. Maybe what you are seeing right now is my weakness. Maybe you need to know that you yourself listening to me, you have your weaknesses and you have your strength. So it's so easy to demonstrate both. And it's so easy for whoever is watching us to actually see or concentrate on our weakness or our, our strength. So if you want to have a heart of gratitude, you need to think outside the box. You also need to think how you started the journey together, maybe as husband and wife, or even with friends or relatives. So you need to think outside the box. And that is how the mindset is very important. Because if your focus is only on negativity, you will, con con you will condemn, criticize, complain, and blame all your years. But what does that bring? Bitterness, hatred, dislike, this unity, fighting one another, abusing, violating. That's all what it will bring. So what's the point of wasting our time and energy for all our years? But if we think outside the box and look at it this way, this is not how we started. Reasoning together or even assess the situation, you will know that every one of us as human beings are going through something. We might be in a situation beyond our own control as well. Probably that very time we cannot control it. And that is why it's happening to us. We are still talking about relationship. I want you to just be reasoning with me of what I'm saying here today. Because if you want to develop that, that attitude of gratitude and be thankful and be grateful, then there are some things that you need to understand right from the beginning. Very, very important. So before we go over this one, let me also explain things to you. I think I will just stop this thing. Let me explain these things to you. It is very important that we cannot work on our own. 
We cannot isolate ourselves just because so many things has happened in our lives. But I have a good news for you. The reason why you are going through what you are going through at this moment, there is a purpose for it. Maybe for you to grow and get matured. Maybe for you to learn from that mistakes. Maybe for us to work together and achieve our goals together. There must be a reason. There is an illustration given to me recently, and I love it so much. If you drink tea like me, remember, before that tea can be pruned strongly for you to drink and be tasty, you have to dip that tea in a very hot water. That hot water itself might be the challenges that you are facing. But after that, what happened? The tea is tasty and you are enjoying it. Let me also do this kind of illustration as well. When you are cooking, like me, I like cooking. You have to go to the shopping mall buy all your ingredients, come back home, prepare to cook, then cook level stages and then bring them together. Then finish the cooking. Then you tasted it. You are happy. I'm happy. And we are enjoying the food in the family. Same things happens with the things of life especially in relationship. You don't expect everything that you need just to drop from heaven and be in front of you. You have to go through some stages. And that is what life is all about. And that is how I want you to see relationship. Relationship is unique. Relationship comes with a package. We just have to prepare ourselves to embrace whatever comes. And that is where this heart of gratitude will come in. The Bible says, count your blessings, name them one by one, and to surprise you of what the Lord has done. Because sometimes we've forgotten that there are so many things going behind the scene. There are so many things that you've overcame that you don't even know that you did. There are so many things you've achieved in life that you don't even know how you achieved it because it might not be by your own power, nor by your own mind, not by your intellect, not by your smartness. But it happens because the God of the universe is behind it. Sometimes we want to blame others, but you don't know what they're going through when you are seeing what they are seeing. It could be their own trials and tribulations and testing time, but they're going to come out of you, of it. And the same thing happens to you. Because you can't tell me that you've not experienced anything in life, especially when you are growing up. So if you can overcome, others also can overcome. And that is where the heart of gratitude is very important. We need to look back, see where we've started, See what you have achieved so far. See what you are now becoming now. The same things you need to appraise others. You need to appreciate them. What they have done for you. And what they are doing for others. If you are the kind of person that always pull them down. 
You are reducing their power, their ability. You are discouraging them. You are pressing them down. They won't be able to rise like that. But if you are the person that really appreciates them and say to them, not just thinking about it, but say to them, you are so special. Thank you so much for what you have done. That will give them the energy to do more. Remember, it's about mindset. And what you store in your mind matters. If you are full of negativity, it will be so difficult for you to appreciate others. Even when people want to love you, you might find yourself not even be ready or not even knowing how to love or to take the love that they share with you. And all what you will see is negativity. All what you will be aiming at is how they will just hurt you. You know, some people are like that. So you need to have a heart of gratitude. Even if it is just a cup of water that somebody gave, they gave you, you still need to appreciate it. Little things like this. I'm talking about relationship here because sometimes we take all these little steps. We take it for granted. We do not appreciate one another enough because of what you want to see is, oh, she's that, she's that, she is that. He's, he's not doing this. He's not meeting up. He's not smart. That's all what we can see. But then we've been given the ability to see both our strengths and our weakness to appreciate one another, to celebrate one another. That is where the happiness we come from. That is where peace of mind we come from. That is how you will unite together when you appreciate one another. Heart of gratitude is very important in building relationship. And this applies to any relationship, family relationship, professional, professional relationship, and other relationship. Out of gratitude is very important. Like they say, if you are thankful, then your tank will be full. The more you are grateful, the more you are thankful the more you receive because you're appreciating what they've done to you. Let me quickly also say this. It is not easy for somebody to bite the finger that fed them and want to succeed in life. They will struggle. You have to always appreciate where you started. Always appreciate the journey the person that was there when you started your journey, always appreciate it. The most important thing first is to make sure you are appreciating God in everything. The hair that you breathe, even this hair in your head, you can't count it. That's how powerful our God in universe is. Even when you go outside and enjoy the nature, See the birds singing, flying. See the animals, see the trees. You have to be appreciated. You appreciate what God is doing in your life. When you can start with that, then you will appreciate yourself and you will appreciate others. We are still talking about the art of gratitude. When you can think, then you can thank. Oh, yes. It's only the thinkers that can be grateful of what they have seen, what they have observed, what they have experienced, and what they've received. So if you can think, then you can be thankful. 
So with the types of relationship, start to appreciate others. The simple language that doesn't need to be so complex that you can say with your mouth is, thank you. I appreciate you. If you say it to yourself as spouse, talk to one another in the morning and say, my husband, thank you. Even the one you have done, the one you are still doing, and you are one you are still going to do. Thank you. You will see the energy flowing. Say to your wife, thank you. Even if the food, there is not enough salt in it. Sister, thank you for even making an attempt to cook that food. Thank you. Sometimes, when we, when we are in love, we don't wait for the other person to tell us to do something. We just do it freely. That's what we call unconditional love. And when you now do it, or when the other spouse, when other person does it, remember to say, thank you, I appreciate you. You don't have to do it, but you did it then you will experience the transformation. Sometimes we set our expectations so high that our spouse will not be able at that time to meet them all. But the work they've done and they're still doing, appreciate it. And always say, thank you, mama. Thank you so much. Be grateful. Because the more you are grateful, the more you will get. Even when anybody in this world, your friends, your boss, your leaders, when they give you an opportunity, always remember to show the heart of gratitude. Because even if you demand it, even if you requested for it, they have the choice to say no. They have the choice to hold back and not to supply or to give you that opportunity. But guess what? They did. They gave you the opportunity. Not by your own smartness, not by own power. But they chose to give you the opportunity. Like I've been given opportunity to come and share with you my inspiration and nugget of wisdom on this platform of International Intensive University. I do not take things for granted. So I will continue to say thank you. Because the more you have that attitude, the more you free yourself, the more the doors of favor will open to you. So you can see that the same principle, you can use it even within you and your husband, between you and your children. Let's try to even teach our children to be grateful with the little they've received. And let's train them to say that whenever anybody does anything for you, because we are the only one that can train them. So let them know that they have to be grateful. They have to have the heart of gratitude and be thankful. We are in this journey together, the journey of relating to one another because we are not alone and we cannot succeed alone. And that is why this gratitude is very important. Do you know that there are some things that your husband, if we look at his own past ability, he might not be able to do it, or your wife. But the fact you said thank you to them is an opportunity for that energy to come. Sometimes you don't plan it. 
It just happened. It just flowed. Why? Because we have the heart of gratitude. So if you are building your relationship or you are trusting God or you are building your, 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 your healthy relationship, then it is so important that you have the heart of gratitude. When you have a heart of gratitude, you are given the other person that did something to you, the energy, the power, the assurance, the courage for them to be able to do more. That's just the secret. Because you are showing them you appreciate what they've done. And that, then they will continue to do it. And that is why our mindset is very important. Because if you can think outside the box, look into the greatness of that person that you are relating to, see their goodness, see their glory, see their grace that is upon them. See the possibilities that can happen to them and happen to you and happen to your relationship then you will know that it is worth it for us to show gratitude. My second name is Uluwa Modupe. That is my God, I'm thankful. That's my African name. And I think everyone around me, in fact, there was a time some people would say, ah, that's your gratitude is too much. Please stop. We heard you because I'm grateful because that is me. And that's what I'm sharing with you. Now don't take people for granted. Whatever anybody does to you, don't take it for granted. Put on the heart, put on the, the, the garments of gratitude. Have a heart of thanksgiving. That is why you can see that even in church, even in America or everywhere, they have a set a date, a date of Thanksgiving. But then Thanksgiving is supposed to be every day of your life because you receive favor every day. It might not be physical gift, but you are receiving something every day. You wake up this morning, it's a good chance to do things. It's a good chance to walk around. You wake up this morning, you are still breathing. You are still alive. So God of the universe has given you second chance to live, to enjoy, to correct, to amend, and to ask for forgiveness and to forgive others. That's the opportunity given to us when we wake up in the morning. So let us always be thankful. And our husband and wife, be thankful. Parents, be grateful for all the children that God has given you. Children, be thankful for all the things that your parents have done. Show the heart of gratitude. They might not know all the answers. They might not have met all your expectations because we are all growing every day and we are learning. But whatever they have done to help you to the stage you are today, go back to your parents with a very good gift and say to them, I am grateful. Thank you, mom. Thank you, dad. Thank you, my grandparents. Thank you, my cousins. Thank you, my friends. Thank you, my boss. Even if he's going to be a tough boss, a, bo a tough leader. <laughs> because you might look at it that they are so tough. They are so hard. But they might be preparing you, preparing you for greatness. They might want you to succeed. They might want you to achieve your goals. 
and fulfill your dreams and your purpose. So not every day your teacher, your boss, your, your leaders will be pampering you or even your managers. Sometimes they need to put on that cap and say, yes, this is the way. So they have to be hard in one way and they have to be soft in another way. So they have to balance it. So they still deserve our heart of gratitude. And we need to say thank you to them. If you want to buy flowers, box of chocolate, or anything, just go back there and say thank you. Before I run down, can I quickly tell you the reason or secret behind this thankfulness? Your life will be full of joy. You'll be happy that you did that. Even if the other side, you look at it or you think they are so hard on you, you will definitely one day look back and say to yourself, I am grateful for who I am today. I am grateful for what I have achieved. I am grateful for who I have become. I am grateful for what I know today. That's why we need to be grateful to our teachers, our lecturers, and even to IIU that is giving us the opportunity to learn. So we need to be grateful. Let us not take anything for granted. And let us not bite the fingers that fed us. Because you are not where you are yesterday. You are different. You have been transformed and changed. So let us be grateful. Sometimes as human beings, we tend to want to quickly blame people, condemn people criticize people. Sometimes even our spouse, we try not to look at the good things they've done or they're doing. But any little silly mistakes they made, we quickly jump into conclusion and call them all kinds of names. Sometimes some people try to love us and it's so difficult for us to accept that love. Sometimes they would go out of their way to do something they're not even supposed to do for us, but because they just want to show their love, their affection, their emotions, they want to show how, 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 how they love us. And then we trash it. We say, what has they done? No. Let us be transformed in our relationship and be grateful. It might not be diff it might not be easy, but we can. Yes, we can. We can appreciate others. Appreciating your spouse, your friends, your family, your boss, your leaders, your managers makes a long way for you to be happy and achieve and perform well. Even in our working place, appreciate what other colleagues are doing. Every day, I, I, I am so grateful that I can wake up in the morning and I can travel to London to go and work and meet different people. And at the end of it all, I can get something back. Let's be grateful. Sometimes, some people are looking for children. You have lovely children. You need to be grateful. Sometimes, some people are looking for somebody to love them. You have a heart-to-heart -heart husband, wife. You need to be grateful. Some people don't have what you have. For example, here, I've got electricity, I've got Wi-Fi, I've got everything. In some other parts of the country, they might not have it. Let's be grateful for what we have. 
sometimes some people unfortunately probably they don't have they are blind they are deaf some people can't speak some people can't see here you are and you need to be grateful to god sometimes some people are lonely come to london during winter majority of all our old older ones are lonely in their part yes they, some of them are, have pets but some don't have money to buy pets they don't have money to buy cats or to go dog but where you are surrounded with people let's be grateful let's be grateful some people are looking for what you have so you need to be grateful some people are looking for husband you have yours be grateful some people are looking for friends you have many many friends around you you need to be grateful some people don't have what to eat even to eat be grateful and also be willing to share what you have. Give to the poor. The art of gratitude is when you are sharing what you have or when you are buying some food stuff and you're giving it to others that don't have. Most of your clothes that you haven't even used at all, you are waiting for the time to lose weight. Gather them and go and give it to somebody that hasn't got money to buy one. Even food, even drinks, little, little pocket money you have that has been in your pocket for years. When you have that attitude of gratitude, you'll be able to share what you have. You are a blessing. To be, you are blessed to be a blessing to others. So let's be grateful. Everything around you. So how do you do it? Wake up in the morning, the first thing first, give thanks to God that has given you the chance to wake up in the morning. Not everybody that went to bed last night wake up this morning. So be grateful. Some people, they're in the hospital as I'm talking now. You are in your own home. So be grateful. So thank God every day before you, before you even set up anything. Thank the God Almighty for giving the chance to breathe, giving you a chance to wake up, giving you a second chance to amend some things and to, 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 to correct. And then the first, then the second one. Be ready to inspire others, to motivate, to encourage others. Give them the energy you have. Remember, you started your day with thanksgiving. How do you also express yourself to others? Inspire them. Speak the words of encouragement. Somebody needs your words and right now. They are being down. They are being feeling down low. It could be your husband. It could be your wife. It could even be your children or even your parents that are feeling low at this point. Because you have started your day with thanksgiving, with art of gratitude, you can just call them up and encourage them. They might not have the energy you have, but you can share your energy with yourself, I mean, with others. Be a channel of blessings to others. Be the light that lighted the light in the darkness to others. That's what I just want to encourage you today. That as you build your relationship, always remember it's worth it to say thank you and to appreciate everybody around you. You might not see what they have done, but they are doing something. They are contributing, they are imparting into your life. So be grateful. Opportunity given to you, don't take it for granted. Position you find yourself, it's not by your smartness. You might think you have a degree, you have PhD, you have everything. No, 
is the grace of God. You might think you're smart and you know it all, but that's not the reason why you are there. That's not the reason why you get that promotion. Firstly, you might get that promotion of the solution you solved and the problem you solved. But then you might solve a problem and somebody might not notice it or recognize it. That's where the grace of God is. So any position you find yourself, be grateful and do not misuse that opportunity because a heart that is full of thankful will have his or her tank to be full. And the Bible says, can't it all join that you are being persecuted because you are not going to stay there. You are going to be rising above that situation because greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. You are not alone. So be grateful. Even before your breakthrough comes, be grateful. Be grateful. Even when your answer has not come yet, be thankful. Even when what you are expecting from God or what you have asked God to do in your life, be thankful before you get it. Because when you are grateful, by the time you receive what you are asking for, you will treat it, you will accept it, you will celebrate it properly. Be grateful. Even your husband and your wife, be thankful for what you have started. You might not start the way other people started, but you are still on that journey. Enjoy where you are to where you are going and be grateful. So on this note, I want to say thank you for listening to me. Thank you for believing in what I'm saying. On this note, I would like you to keep asking questions. Assess your situation. But while you are assessing the situation and your relationship, be thankful and be grateful because you are still in the middle of your journey. You've started so far. You are coming all on the way, but you are still pressing forward. So be grateful and be grateful. Thank God for everything. Thank your spouse for everything. And thank your friends, your colleagues, your leaders, and everybody that has contributed to where you are today. Be grateful. Be thankful. And also even you yourself. From your thanksgiving, act on compassion by giving to others. You can even present yourself voluntarily to work the work of humanity. Join hands to make things work. Join hands to make place a better place to live. Join hands for everything to do well with your contribution. And I want to say, yes, you can. Just be thankful and be grateful for what God has done in your life and for everyone that have contributed to your success, to your life, your building, your relationship. Be grateful to your spouse. Be grateful to everyone that are surrounding you. Be grateful for your family. Be grateful for even every opportunities that comes your way. And you yourself, be grateful for who you are because you are a strong person and you have greatness in you. Be grateful for the gifts that has been deposited in you that you will discover and you will develop and demonstrate it for the whole world to see. Be grateful. And for you to build your relationship with anybody, out of gratitude is so essential. Thank you for this great 
message of transformation of relationship I have shared with you this evening. Thank you. And God bless you.